Uh, welcome to the section of this course. Uh, today I am going to speak about exponential functions derivative. Derivative of its exponential functions. Uh, some functions I have written over here. Uh, e raised to x, e raised to x square, e raised to x square plus 3. This type of uh, exponential function. And type B is like 5 raised to 2x minus 3, a raised to x, like something like uh, constant raised to variable, okay, a raised to x, etc. And type C is exponential raised to some derivative functions. And over here, exponential raised to uh, uh, algebraic functions into derivative functions, okay. Let's try to solve uh, one by one. For if y equals to e raised to x, okay. If y equals to e x, then derivative of this function is, as you know, dy by dx will be e raised to x as it is. Again, you have to differentiate x with respect to x, okay. d by dx of x is what? 1, okay. Therefore, if y is e raised to x, then the, the differentiation of e raised to x is e raised to x itself, okay, no change. If it is of the form, for example, if it is of the form y equals to e raised to x square, then dy by dx will be what? dy by dx will be, you keep as it is, okay, e raised to x square as it is. Again, differentiate x square with respect to x, okay, d by dx of x square with respect to x is what? Twice x. Otherwise, what we can do is if you substitute, if you substitute in this, if you substitute this x square u equals to x square, then dy by dx will be in terms of parameter u, then this will be dy upon dx will be what with the hello parameter u will be du, okay dy by dx will be dy by du into du by dx, okay. From here I can find, from here I can find du by dx, differentiation u with respect to x is what, twice x, okay. Now, now over here, over here, here y equals to what, what e raised to x, uh, e raised to u, okay. Therefore, dy by du will be e raised to u into du by du is 1, okay. Therefore, dy by dx is same as dy by du means dy by du means e raised to u into du by dx is what? Twice x, okay. What is e raised to u? u means what? x square, okay, into twice x. You can solve in this way also or you can solve directly also, okay. Now, if it is of the form e raised to x square plus 3, okay, it is 1 and same. If y equals to, if say, if y equals to e raised to any function, uh, any uh, algebraic functions, for example, x square plus twice x minus 3, okay, the differentiation will be dy by dx will be e raised to, keep as it is, x square plus twice x minus 3. Again, differentiate these with respect to x, okay? If I differentiate these with respect to x, then x square will be what? Twice x, okay? x square will be twice x plus uh, d by dx of 2x is what? 2, okay? Into 2, okay? Therefore, dy by dx will be as it is, okay? Or if it is of the form, for example, if, if y equals to e raised to x square into e raised to, for example, uh, twice x plus 3, then what to do, okay? Now what we can do is before differentiating, what we can do, if the base are same, we can add the indices. It means if it is x raised to m plus x raised to m into x raised to n, if base are same, then it is same as x raised to m plus n. If I apply this formula, then this will be e raised to what? x square plus twice x plus 3. This is y. Okay. What I am doing is base are same. 
therefore I am adding the indices okay from here if I differentiate with respect to x then dy by dx will be what e raised to x as k base that is e raised to x square plus twice x plus 3 differentiate this with respect to x differentiate of x square is what twice x and 2x is what 2 okay and constant constant is 0 therefore it will be twice x plus 2 plus 0 okay now now next type b is what uh, 5 raised to 2x x minus 3 or something like a raised to x okay as we know that if y equals to a raised to x where a is some constant greater than 0 okay then dy by dx will be a raised to x into log of a okay into dy dx of x is 1 okay this is a formula we have okay in this condition okay in this condition where a is constant okay let's apply see if i consider y equals to 5 raised to twice x minus 3 then what will be differentiation dy by dx will be something like a raised to x okay a raised to x is what keep as it is 5 raised to twice x minus 3 into log of a here log a is what 5 okay into i have to differentiate this with respect to x okay d by dx of this with respect to x is twice x is what 2 and constant is minus 0 okay is 2 therefore d by dx of this is same as this okay now let's see this okay if it is only from for example uh if y equals to this if another if y equals to if i have 5 raised to twice x minus 3 into a raised to x if it is of the form then what we will do is we'll apply product rule for derivative okay it's like we have f into z differentiation is uh, you can say f dash g plus g dash f okay if i have f and g are two product two product functions if i have to differentiate this then differentiate first function keep the second function as it is plus differentiate second function and for keep first function as it is okay let's apply this here okay therefore dy by dx will be keep as it is 5 raised to twice x minus 3 and d by dx of ax we what d by dx of ax is what we have is a raised to x log of a plus for formula okay plus this differentiation is already over so keep as it is a raised to x and d by dx of this okay d by dx of this is what 5 raised to twice x minus 3 into log of into log of 5 into d by dx of this is 2 okay you can give as it is or you can take a raised to x uh, common on this equation or you can keep as it is okay now if it is of the form e raised to sine x okay if it is if y equals to e raised to sine x sine ax say for example then dy by dx will be okay keep as it is exponential from e raised to sine of ax into okay we have to differentiate sine ax with respect to x okay differentiation of sine x is what cos of ax into again differentiate a, its angle with respect to x is a okay or you can apply uh if otherwise if i put uh u equals to sine of x then du by dx will be what differentiation of this differentiation of sine is what cos of ax into a because i am differentiating ax with respect to x okay again therefore therefore y will be what e raised to 
what u okay because i already put sin x as u here is the u therefore dy by dx in terms of parameter u okay dy by dx in terms of parameter u is what du du okay into so dy by du is what dy by du from here you can find dy by du dy by du will be differentiation of e raised to u will be e raised to u as it is therefore dy by du is e raised to u into du by dx is cos of a x into a is equals to what is u substitute e raised to sine of a x cos of a x into a okay this answer is same as this answer okay so this is substitution method or this is you can solve directly okay now if it is of the form for example if it is of the form y equals to e raised to bx sine of x okay what to do now we, we have two functions okay this is first function and second function okay first function is what e raised to bx second function is sine of x therefore dy by dx will be what keep first function as it is i'm keeping first function as it is d by dx sine x is what cos x again d by dx of differentiation of sine x is cos x into a y because i'm differentiating a x respect to again x plus for formula this difference is called over so keep as it is sine a x and d by dx of sine e raised to bx is 1 e raised to bx into differentiation of bx respect to x is 1 b okay you can give like this okay let's take some other examples for derivative by exponential functions uh, now if y equals to 3 raised to x into root x how to differentiate this type of, of exponential function let's see if i have y equals to 3 raised to x into root x okay obviously here we have to apply product rule okay product rule this is function of x also this is function of x so it's differentiable okay now by applying product rule this let's say this is u and this is v then dy by dx will be this keeping as it is 3 raised to x and then dy dx of root x plus for formula and root x d by dx of 3 raised to x okay it is of i am applying product rule for u into v rule okay now this is same as 3 raised to x into root x is what x raised to half okay x raised to half d by dx of x raised to half is what half x raised to half minus 1 is uh, we have d by dx of x raised to n is n into x raised to n minus 1 this formula okay now applying this formula this is half x raised to n means half minus 1 plus root x d by dx of 3x is what it is from a raised to x okay 3 raised to x into log of 3 you can keep like this or you can say, uh, write another way is half minus one is minus half you can bring down or you can say three raised to x one by two root x i'm bringing down plus root x three raised to x log of three okay if now let's see second sum okay this is one second if y equals to two raised to two x what to do 2 raised to 2x okay now in this type of sums okay now if i this is constant let's say, if i take log on both sides let's see if for differentiating taking log on both side log y equals to consider this okay bringing this log of let's give for time being 2 raised to 2x by log property these indices i can bring down over here okay so this same as 2 raised to x into log of 2 
okay since log 2 is constant okay now let's differentiate differentiating these on both side log of y is what 1 by y dy by dx is equal to since log 2 is constant keeping as it is log 2 d by dx of 2 raised to x is what 2 raised to x into log 2 log 2 into log 2 is same as log 2 the whole square into 2 raised to x now what we want we want dy by dx okay let's send y this both side uh, that right hand side therefore dy by dx will be y into log of 2 the whole square into 2 raised to x okay what is y y is what this okay the same as 2 raised to 2 raised to x into log of 2 raised to square into 2x okay this is the answer now if i'm not taking log that will be very much difficult okay because some constant a something like a, a raised to is in the size okay it's better to take log on both sides now if y equals to 10 bus a raised to this is 10 inverse of this angle okay so let's see if y equals to 10 inverse a raised to ax into log of x what is this okay now therefore dy by dx will be 10 by d by dx of you know that d if y equals to 10 inverse x then dy by dx is 1 upon 1 plus x square into d by dx of x okay since d by dx is x is 1 so we don't have to keep anything okay now over here this is same as 1 upon 1 plus consider this as a uh, this as x okay so it will be e raised to x into log of x the whole square 1 plus this square into again i have to differentiate this with respect to x dy dx of e raised to x into log of x this same as 1 upon 1 plus e raised to this x square uh, square is for this also this also okay you can like a raised to x then look you can keep as it is also the whole square into divide x of this is u into v okay this u means e raised to x differentiating this log x with respect to x is what 1 upon x plus keep log x as it is differentiate e raised to x is e raised to ax into a okay this is the character okay otherwise what we can do is you can substitute this otherwise you can substitute u equals to e raised to ax into log of x which implies du by dx will be this term okay because this term okay and we, i already solve e raised to ax upon x plus log of x e raised to ax into a okay therefore d if i substitute u equals to this then y will be what y will be 10 inverse 10 inverse u because since you will be already assigned therefore dy by d u differentiating this respective will be 1 upon 1 plus u square now if i want dy by dx is same as dy by du respective param parameter u into du upon dx okay dy by du is what 1 upon 1 plus u square into this whole term okay e raised to x upon x plus log of x e raised to x into a okay then u you have to substitute okay what is u u is this okay is same as 1 upon 1 plus e raised to ax into log x the whole square into same as this this is same as this okay so now if i substitute 
substitute also and with the substitute also the value of the answer will be same okay thank you